In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add custom taxonomies to a custom post type. To do this, you need access to your server, as we need to edit some files, and you also need access to the WordPress dashboard so that you can see the changes as you make them. So, as you can see here, we're looking at the custom post type called Recipes. Uh, we added that in a previous tutorial, so what we can do is just hop back into our server and you can see here we're in functions.php which is within the child theme that we've also created earlier and just here here's all the code for the custom post type so we'll just add a comment here adding the recipe custom post type great so what we want to do now is just add another comment and we'll call this adding taxonomies for the recipes post type. To do this we need to create a new function and you can call it whatever you want but I'm going to call mine taxonomies recipe. And similarly as we did for registering the custom post type we first need to create a variable and in this instance it'll be called labels and we're going to put an array in there so rather than typing all of this out manually I'm going to just quickly insert it here And you can see that what we've got first is we've got the name, singular name, search items, and so on. These are all what we'll require in order to be able to use and maintain the categories for this post type. Still within this function, we do need to add a little bit more. We're going to call this args for arguments, and we're going to add another array to this. And we need to create labels so what we're going to do is call these labels and give it the labels variable just like that and then we need to define our archival and make sure that's set to true then just still within this function once again we need to use a WordPress function called register taxonomy. And you probably already guessed what we need to fill this out with. It's pretty straightforward. So we call this recipe category. And we need to just pass the arguments to it there because then by including this variable, it will by default include the labels variable and the labels just like that. And then just below this function here, we do need to use an action once again. And we're going to use on initialization and we're going to call it taxonomies recipe. And then we just create the priority as zero. And then we save. So we've refreshed this page here and now you can see recipe categories that appears there. And it looks the same as the category screen that appears under the posts heading. So we can just call this, uh, maybe we'll go with beef, chicken, vegetarian. So those categories now exist. So what we'll do is we'll go back and add a new recipe. And here you can see recipe categories and you can assign them as you see fit. And naturally you can also add new categories within here. You might want to put in lamb or something. So that's, all you need to do when it comes to adding custom taxonomies for your custom post types. It's fairly straightforward. It's probably a lot easier than actually registering the post type in the first place. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask in the comments below.